25 years ago that the artist Cristo changed the landscape of South Florida, making it pretty in pink and was at the forefront of Miami's art explosion. In an exclusive interview, CBS 4's Lisa Petrillo talked with a now 81-year-old artist about his iconic project and his new exhibition at the Perez Art Museum. In 1983, a Bulgarian artist named Christo and his wife Jean-Claude changed Miami's landscape culturally and literally when they created the installation now known as Surrounded Islands. Eleven uninhabited man-made islands were covered with 6.5 million square feet of floating pink woven polypropylene fabric that would stay in place for 14 days. The original plan, Christo said, was a different shade of pink. In the color is something much later. The very first sketches, they're very shy pink, very almost whitish pink. That pink fabric in 24 hours became white by the UV and the salt of the water. That thing was a big, big story to arrive to that pink to stay for 14 days. At the time, Christo was invited to create a project by Miami Center for Fine Arts. It evolved into this. 35 years later, the Perez Art Museum Miami presents Christo and Jean-Claude Surrounded Islands, a retrospective. The fabric floats 220 feet on the surface of the water. On this day, Christo, his wife now passed, gave a personal tour of the exhibit, pointing out everything from its very difficult beginnings. It features 50 drawings and collages, blueprints, photos, and a large-scale model of the bay and its islands, all the way to its inspirational finish. Through the years, Christo kept those materials close at hand. When the project is removed, we collected, collected all the components of the project, archives, material, photographs, film, and each of our big project half exhibition like that. As seen from this archival video, thousands came from everywhere by float, boat, by air, to see the pristine pink islands. It was no easy task. Contrary to critics who were concerned about environmental issues, the project actually cleaned up the islands. Workers who were paid $28 a day hauled away 40 tons of garbage. How many people in general work on the project? Well, it's depending on the size. The biggest amount... This one. The, this one is about 800 people. This exhibit will bring visitors to a time and place here in South Florida that will not be forgotten. But I like the water, I like the air, I like the people, I like the space in Miami. That area is like a part of my body. You know, my life is here. The Surrounded Islands exhibit and documentary is on display here at the Perez Art Museum Miami, now through mid-February. I'm Lisa Petrillo, CBS 4 News. Simply amazing. We have even more Christo for you. The artist takes us on a walk and talk showcasing some of the exhibition at the Perez Art Museum. Check out our web extra at cbsmiami.com slash entertainment. You know, Rudabay, I was not living in Miami at that time, but I remember seeing those images and wanting to come back so badly. Yeah, and it's, for me, it's cool to see, yeah. to see it all come together now and to hear his uh, reflection on it. Really cool. Yeah, also